name's Janelle and welcome back to Rosary Apparel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of fabric shopping and so I thought why not pick up the camera and bring you along with me. I have a couple of projects in mind that I'm hoping to find some fabric for. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to find anything but I thought I'd film the process anyway because I'm sure I'm going to come home with something. It's very rare that I head to Spotlight and don't come home with something. And a couple of weeks ago I went off shopping and actually managed to find quite a few fabric pieces and I thought I'd include all of the footage I took of that shopping trip in this video as well. But first, let's head off to Spotlight. My husband Matt very kindly offered last minute to come with me so that he could film me as I shopped around. I promise I didn't force him. He genuinely loves using my new camera and any excuse to get creative and film, he's all about it. So the first fabric I found was this amazing paisley rayon which looked so nice up close and I was very drawn to it but once I held it up to myself in a mirror I just decided it was not the one. There were also heaps of new floral cotton fabrics in Spotlight but sadly I didn't find any that were quite my colours or style. One of the reasons I needed to go fabric shopping was to see if I could find some fabric for a new coat project. And I ended up finding these textured fabrics here that were available in the prettiest green and pink shades. I was so drawn to both of them and it took me the longest time to decide which colour to go with. Here I'm actually talking through my decision with Matt who by this time was very much regretting coming with me. But in the end, I went with the pink and please don't tell me I made the wrong decision, whatever you do, because otherwise I'll be going back for the green. <laughs> now for a bit of op shopping. The first item I found on this op shopping trip was this vintage dress, which had the most incredible print. I was so excited when I first spotted it, but as soon as I actually felt it, my heart sank as it was made from nylon and felt really staticky and gross. I decided to try it on anyway, but once I did, I decided I didn't like the style on me either, and so sadly, I left it behind. Like always, I love a good rummage through all the fabrics and managed to find a few things that I'll show you properly in a minute. And also, I had a look to see if I could find some cute bits that I could potentially use as pot plants for some herbs I'm growing. I did find this pot, which I thought was really cute, but once I flipped it over and saw the price, it was a definite no. I did end up picking this little floral mug up for $2, though. days later now and before I get in and show you all of the fabrics I've found recently let's take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who likes to learn new skills or just simply wants to explore their creativity more. On Skillshare you can find classes on a range of different topics including photography, sewing, graphic design, illustration, productivity, the list goes on and on. Each class is broken down into bite-sized lessons and there are no ads to interrupt your learning and honestly the classes are so visually beautiful and engaging to watch and I always feel so inspired after watching a Skillshare class. At the moment I'm taking a class called Painting with Thread by Danielle Clough. I've recently started dabbling with embroidery a little bit more and being able to take a class that covers all of the basics for a beginner by an embroidery artist who's an expert in their field has been so so helpful on getting started with this fun new hobby. So if you'd like to try Skillshare for yourself then the first 1000 people to use the link in the description below or use my unique code will receive a free one month trial of Skillshare Premium. Thanks Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So as you can see behind me, I have quite a substantial pile of fabrics. These are a combination of op shop finds, um, some fabric I picked up from Spotlight the other day, and also some Facebook Marketplace finds as well. So yeah, without further ado, let me go through them now and show you the fabrics I've found recently. The first fabric I found at the op shop is this amazing cotton cheesecloth. I love a fabric with a good texture and cheesecloth is one of my all-time favorites because it's so lightweight and breathable but also 
just has a nice amount of body to it. This piece is apparently one and a half meters in length and it was three dollars and it's in this very plain natural color which I actually don't mind but when I first saw this I also thought it could be really fun to have a go at dyeing this with some natural dyes um, either with some onion skins or an avocado pit or something but yeah I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with this fabric but as soon as I saw it I had to pick it up because I just can't go past a bit of cheesecloth the next fabric I found is this beautiful blue rayon crepe. Well, it feels like a rayon crepe. It's got such a lovely print and I was also really drawn to the color of this one. And I don't actually have that many blue fabrics in my fabric stash. So as soon as I saw this, I thought I'd pick it up. There's not that much fabric there. Again, I think it would be about a meter and a half. Um, and I think from memory, I only picked this up for like $2. It definitely needs a good wash because it's looking quite coloured, but once it's had a wash, I'm sure it's going to come up really nicely. Next, I picked up a peach tablecloth. I feel like nearly every op shop I go into has a peach tablecloth like this, and I often pick them up because I A, love the colour of it, and B, love the linen look texture it has. I actually already had one in my stash and I plan to make a quilt from it and so when I saw this one I thought I'd pick it up as well just so I had a bit more fabric for my quilt. So yeah that is what I have planned for this piece. This piece here is probably my favourite find from that particular op shopping trip. It is this double sided bedspread. One side has this lovely retro floral print in kind of a pink colourway and then on the other side it has the same print but in the blue colorway so i feel like it was an extra bonus to get two different fabrics in the one piece in particular i really love this pink version i think it's such a pretty print finding classic floral retro prints like this in the op shop is getting rarer and rarer especially here in tassie um so i was very happy to pick this up next i have a few pieces that i actually bought from one of my instagram followers the first one is probably my favorite of the two it is this insanely beautiful, bright, retro bed sheet. It is just in such good condition. It's one of those bed sheets that I feel like has been sitting in someone's cupboard for uh, the last few decades because it feels so lovely and crisp. And this bed sheet here is just a pretty plain pink, but again, it just has this lovely floral print all over it and I just thought it was adorable. I really love the shade of pink this one has. Um, it's just so, so beautiful. It reminds me of rosary pink, which I obviously love. And I actually plan on using both of these pieces for some upcoming sewing kits. As you know, I only like to use recycled fabrics for my sewing kits and I feel like these two pieces would make some beautiful kits. Another fabric I bought specifically for the sewing kits is this piece here. I actually bought a fabric from Spotlight a few months ago pretty much exactly like this. It's a cotton linen and it has the exact same coloured checks on that fabric as well. But this is actually a bed sheet as well. It's a queen size bed sheet which means there's heaps of fabric there and it actually feels a little bit better quality than the Spotlight fabric. It's got a really nice thickness to it and I am just obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with the colours of it. Um, it's just all of my favourite autumnal shades. This piece here is the flat bed sheet but I also have a fitted bed sheet over there as well which means I have quite a lot of fabric to make hopefully quite a lot of kits. This next fabric I have to show you is actually a linen tablecloth. It's by the brand Society of Wanderers, which is my favorite bed linen brand. That is probably the most tell me you're 30 without actually telling me you're 30 statement I have ever said. They make all their bedding out of linen and it is such good quality. It's very expensive, but I noticed that their tablecloths were on sale and then they had a further 25% off which actually made them super reasonable considering they're 100% French linen and it is just so so pretty. Again it is pink because I for some reason I'm just very drawn to pink at the moment and they're about one and a half meters by two and a half meters long which is massive um, and therefore has quite a lot of fabric in it. 
But yeah, super happy with this find and so glad I happened to just stumble across their tablecloths being on sale because it was actually a really affordable way to pick up some really good quality linen. And the last fabric I have to show you, you would have actually seen in the footage I've shared in this video. And that is this amazing pink coat fabric. I cannot begin to tell you how long it took me to decide to go with the pink. I was so drawn to the green as well, but for some reason the pink just excited me a lot more. And when I asked on Instagram which color I should go, the majority of you said I should go the pink as well. So that's what I ended up doing. I think the reason I struggled with choosing so much is because pink normally doesn't look so good with my skin tone because I feel like I have quite peachy toned skin. But like I said, I was more excited about the idea of making a pink coat than I was about making a green coat. So I decided to go with the pink. And yeah, I'm excited to make another winter coat out of this fabric because I am just obsessed with making coats at the moment. And apart from that, the only other things I picked up while at the op shop were some vintage knitting books. I didn't have any luck finding any vintage sewing patterns this time, but look how many knitting patterns I managed to pick up. I just love looking through old knitting patterns. I think the designs can be so unique and I'm actually currently knitting a vintage pattern. And so I guess that's why I managed to find so many is because I'm like in that headspace. I love this kind of fan design on the front here. I think it's actually called feather and fan. Um, I want to see if I could potentially make something like that. And like, look at this one. How pretty is that? There's just so many cute designs. Oh my goodness. Some of them are obviously quite dated, but you can take kind of elements from the patterns and then modernize them a bit. So yeah, I was super happy to pick those up as well. So I hope you enjoyed coming fabric shopping with me and seeing some of my recent fabric finds. In next week's video, I'm going to be sharing all of my winter sewing plans. So if you'd like to see what I have planned to make out of some of these fabrics, then make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that. And don't forget to go and make the most of the free trial of Skillshare by using the link in the description below. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.